Now then, one of my favourite trees, apart from some of the, uh, the conifers, is alder. And the reason I like it is because it gets on with it. Yeah, it's a good pioneer species and the wood is okay for firewood. It's not very dense, but it's an alright firewood tree. Yeah, and it can be used when it gets bigger. Yeah, and there we go, it's trying to look in the viewfinder here. You know, it does get quite big and it will handle very wet conditions. Now we're on um, unrefined silt and then grey clay and we're eight feet above sea level. So older is perfect. And I've got some behind me here that I planted in 2003. So just let's have a look at it. I think I better walk up to it. But it's up there. I'm guessing it is 14 meters or something like that. There you go. And they're pretty straight. So let's just stand back from them a bit and uh, see how tall they are. So as you can see, you know, they're pretty good. And they have these little cones on them. Now I don't know whether the camera will be able to focus on them but I'll just find some and then we'll show you where, what they look like. In fact, on that low branch there, there are some. Ease in there so it stays focused-ish. So let's get closer and have a look. So there they are. And these here are the catkins for this spring's flowers. So I'm going to harvest a few of these and show you how you get the seed. As you can see they're just starting to open up. So that's just the ideal time. And we are in mid-December now. So I'll just do that and then we'll show you. So if you just go tap 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 I think we've already lost some of the seed out of these. I put that on manual focus so hopefully it didn't start messing but there's the seed you see. So I'm going to gather some more and then sow it. So here we are in the glass house and I've just got a seed tray there of compost, mixed compost and soil and I'm just going to so these older seeds there's probably a few too many for in here but let's just sprinkle them like that and hopefully come the spring they've got to keep moist and got to keep them covered but hopefully in the spring we'll have whole crop of young alder trees well you know they'll get to about this big and then I will uh, separate them out and pop them on keep them keep them watered during the summer all we want to do now just cover them up and then label them.
there we go and I might cover those up with a, a sheet of mesh or something just to keep the mice out might not be so pertinent for small seed like this but for bigger seed like acorns and uh, hawthorn berries then I think it's important so there we go water it in cover it up keep an eye on it hopefully in spring we'll have lots of older seedlings and here's an older tree that's self-set on the edge of the pond and it's actually sat in the water at the moment but uh, as the summer progresses it will be two foot away from the water level but you can see it's cracked on isn't it I'm not quite sure how old this is but I'm guessing about five years so they will self set in the right conditions very easily which means that as long as you keep that uh, compost moist they'll be away so there you go hopefully you found this interesting and maybe when you're out on a walk you'll see some alders collect some cones and grow them on catch up with you soon